हेलो गाइस जय शिवली एंड यू आर वेलकम टू माय किचन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अ वेरी यूनिक रेसिपी ऑफ ग्रीन ऑनियंस इट्स अ वेरी यूनिक एंड वेरी 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 डिलीशियस रेसिपी एंड वेरी सिंपल एंड इजी टू मेक सो गाइस लेट्स सी द रेसिपी फॉर मेकिंग दिस डिलीशियस डिश आई हैव टेकन सम स्प्रिंग ऑनियंस एज यू कैन सी एंड आई हैव आल्सो टेकन द ऑनियन पार्ट ऑफ द स्प्रिंग ऑनियंस एंड आई हैव कट देम इनटू पीसेस एंड वॉश देम वेरी नाइसली After washing I drained the water and now I have kept them in a strainer and here I have taken half cup of yellow lentils and soaked them for about 3 hours and after that I have washed them properly now they are very soft I am showing you here is the texture and here I have taken two medium sized potatoes and peeled them off and after peeling off I cut them into pieces and after that I washed them properly and here are some curry leaves and one big size onion finely sliced here i have taken about 1 tablespoon full of crushed garlic you may take ginger along with garlic but i skipped it and you may take the paste of garlic there's no problem here i have taken one big size tomato finely chopped so guys these are the things we need to arrange and the rest of the things are available in the kitchen so let's go for the pan at first i'm adding some cooking oil in the pan a very little oil i'm adding and now i'm going to fry the potatoes the heat is on medium and we need to fry the potatoes until a light red color and we need to stir continuously like this and the potatoes are done i'm taking them out into a plate and suddenly the electricity has gone so i'm going on the gas oven now i'm adding some more cooking oil for the main process of the curry we have to let the oil heat well and after that we need to add some cumin seeds half teaspoon of cumin seeds i'm adding half teaspoon of mustard seeds you may add a pinch of asafoetida also but i really forgot it after everything is crackled well now i'm adding the onions and curry leaves we need to fry the onions until a light brown color and we have to stir continuously like this of course in the meantime the light is back so i'm on the gcoil now after the onion is fried nicely now i'm adding the garlic crush after adding garlic we need to stir it for about 1 minute until the raw flavor of garlic is gone and after that we have to add in the tomatoes after adding tomatoes we need to add salt and spices also so at first i'm adding salt according to taste about 1 teaspoon of salt 1/4 teaspoon of turmeric powder 1 teaspoon of coriander powder red chili powder according to taste and 1 teaspoon of kanda lasun masala it's a maharashtrian spices mixture and it's available only in maharashtra so skip it if you don't have it there's no problem and half teaspoon of garam masala now i'm putting the heat on low and after mixing nicely i'm covering the pan for some time until the tomatoes are nicely soft and after about 2 to 3 minutes the tomatoes are nicely soft now so now i'm adding the fried potatoes and the yellow grams soaked yellow grams of course and now after mixing nicely i'm going to add some water and cover the pan again for some time on medium to low heat until the potatoes are cooked about uh, 90 to 95% i'm not adding so much water at a time because i'm going to make a dry curry so i'm going to add water little by little as needed after about 10 to 12 minutes this is the texture of the curry i added some more water in between and now the potatoes are cooked about 90% So now it's time to add the green onions in. I'm adding them. After adding the green onions, we need to cook the curry for another some time until the potatoes are cooked 100%. So now I'm not adding more water. I'm mixing everything nicely and now I'm going to cover the pan for some time on low heat. After about 2 to 3 minutes, the water is dried up, but the potatoes are not cooked 100% yet. So I'm going to add some more water. and cover the pan again for another some time uh, on medium to low heat i think it will take about 5 to 6 minutes again so after stirring little i am going to cover the pan until the potatoes are cooked 100% after about 6 to 7 minutes the potatoes are nicely cooked now and the yellow grams and spring onions are also cooked no need to say here you can see that the potatoes are nicely cooked So at the end of this recipe we have to garnish the curry. I am adding some chopped fresh coriander leaves and stirring again nicely. After adding the coriander leaves we need to wait for about half to 1 minute and after that our curry is ready. Let's turn the heat off and serve the curry hot. 
सो गाइज यू हैव सीन दैट द रेसिपी इज़ वेरी ईजी एंड इट्स रियली यूनिक एंड न्यू रेसिपी फॉर स्प्रिंग ऑनियंस ग्रीन ऑनियंस एंड इट्स वेरी 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 डिलीशियस विथ रोटी चपाती एंड बॉयल राइस एज वेल सो ट्राई दिस सिंपल रेसिपी एट होम एंड डोंट फर्गेट टू शेयर योर एक्सपीरियंस विथ मी हिट द लाइक बटन गाइज इफ यू रियली लाइक द वीडियो एंड प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग होप टू मीट यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय बाय टेक केयर